The, the big boy is, was the largest steam locomotive ever built in the world. It's 132 feet long and weighs 1,500,000 pounds. Um, they were designed originally to be called the Wasatch class, named after the Wasatch Rip Mountain Range out in Utah. And when the first one came out of the shop, one of the employees at American Locomotive Company chalked Big Boy on the smoke box cover on the front of the engine, and that's how they got the name Big Boy. And that stuck ever since. And there was 25 built. There was 20 built in 1941, and five were built, the last five were built in 1944. And they were designed to pull heavy freights, and the, 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 uh, during the war effort, they were pulling troop trains and, and uh, supply trains and stuff like that. But a steam locomotive is a living, breathing piece of machinery. You can watch all the, all the motion work between the rods and the pistons and all that on the sides of the engine. You can hear it breathing with the air pumps banging away up on the front end. It'll be basically, other than the main cast stuff like the boiler and the frame and stuff like that, everything else has been rebuilt to new. This is done right here in the Cheyenne shops. They were very labor intensive though because of all the motion work and stuff like that. And the shops here in Cheyenne at one time, between the shops and the store department and all, in the mechanical department here, they had 5,000 employees. The railroads are a part of Americana. You know, in the days, they, when they started out, they were hauling passengers and they were hauling freight. Um, look at them during the war years. They were the mainstay for moving freight, uh, moving the supplies, the troops, tanks and everything across the country. They've just been a part of commerce and that that people have seen. People get stopped at road crossings and, and, uh, and a lot of us, when we were very young, were fascinated with watching the train go by. Somebody asked me one time, when, when did you start being an engineer? I said, when I was five years old, when dad gave me a Lionel train. And I've been ever since.